Hello world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to CodingScientist.com. You are watching a most interesting and exciting series on machine learning using Arduino BLE Sense. All right, guys. So let's see what we are going to learn. We are on lesson number five and I'm going to show you how to install temperature and barometer library. So this board, an uh, interesting, cute, little, small, tiny board comes with a barometer and a temperature humidity sensor as well inside, right? So it, it's got everything is inbuilt, everything is inbuilt. So guys, in the Arduino world, you would have seen the humidity and temperature sensor, two different sensors, humidity as a blue color, great small, small dots and three, four pins and a temperature sensor separately, right? So two different sensors you need to connect through the breadboard and you know, a lot of messy wirings and stuff like that. But the interesting fact is this particular board has got the 33 BLE has got inbuilt, which is fantastic. Now, in order to access that, access the sensor, which is inbuilt within the board, we need a specific library to access in our code, in our C++ code when we write, all right? So basically, this library will allow us to, you know, get into the barometer and temperature sensor, which is called LPS22. Okay. It is a very ultra compact sensor, which functions as a digital output of the barometer. The Arduino LPS22HB library, the library name is called Arduino LPS22HB library that will allow you to use the LPS22HB sensor, which is inbuilt. Okay. So do not get confused. It's, it's a library and a sensor. Sensor is inbuilt, a physical sensor is inbuilt within the board, within the board inside, inside this, inside this. All right. But the library is a set of lines, several lines of codes based on C, C++. It's written already and compiled together and built it as a one single file, which we need to import and put it in our IDE. And then once it is available on the Arduino Nano BLE sense, that's going to read your, uh, you know, the air pressure, which is basically for barometer and then the temperature where we will sense the external environment. Lot of IoT projects we will be building using this library, guys. All right. So let's take a look at it. Uh, let's go into our IDE and uh, we will take it forward from there. All right. I hope you guys can see my IDE. Now let's go to sketch, click on the sketch button and then go to include library, then go to manage library. And then here it's getting updated. The list is getting updated. One second. Let it get updated. Somehow my system shows it is hung. It takes a while to get updated all the, I, I had installed ton loads of libraries guys. So that's why it takes time to, you know, all right, let's do one thing. Now here, let's type Arduino underscore LPS 22. All right, there you go. The first one, there are a lot of other LPS 22 HB libraries, but you need to go to the first one, which says allows you to read the pressure sensor of your Arduino 33 BLE sense, right? You need to read the description guys, just by looking at LPS 22 HB, you just randomly, you cannot install. Don't do not do that because there are ton loads of libraries for Arduino for, for the similar kind of sensor, but it's applicable for different kind of boards, different kind of architecture of the boards. You need to be specific for BLE sense. So I had already installed it and let me check if there are any version upgrades. No, it's, it's version one. So I had already installed it and it's working fine for me. You have to go to more info and learn through what exactly the library is all about. So it's clearly mentioned this library is free software, obviously, and you can redistribute, modify with a lesser general public license. Okay. 
well these are the licensing terms and condition the most interesting aspect is you can go to the examples here initial import based on this particular lib file you can read through all this stuff the properties and the smoke tests and examples the examples are more interesting actually so you can you know go ahead and read and understand what exactly this library does okay it's 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 good to know all these things guys all right so uh, i am going to be back soon in the next lesson until then see you soon do keep these libraries installed make sure that you have installed everything successfully without any error in case if you face any issues do leave me a message do reach out to me on whatsapp i'll be happy to take a one on one and help you guys goodbye